Hey guys, welcome back to Pines to Palms. I'm going to be trying to take out some more raccoons today. And I'm going to be using these Spear TNT bullets. These rounds are produced by Federal, but I'm pretty sure that CCI and some other brands also load them. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of people shooting them into ballistics gel, and they really do blow up like TNT, but I haven't seen a lot of hunting videos with these rounds, and that's what they're really made for. So I figured raccoons would be the perfect animal to try them out on. I'm going to be using my Henry 22 Magnum small game carbine and currently I have it sighted in with these standard 50 grain 22 Magnum rounds but these TNT rounds are 20 grains lighter than the 50 grain rounds I usually use for hunting and they're also moving a couple of hundred feet per second faster. So when I went to sight them in they're actually hitting about six or seven inches higher than the 50 grain rounds that I usually use. So I adjusted my rear sight down as low as it could go, and I still have to hold low just because these rounds are traveling so fast. Just to get an idea of how powerful they are, I set up two pop cans at 40 yards, and the one on the left I just shot with a standard 22 long rifle hollow point, and then the one on the right I shot with the uh, 22 Magnum TNT round. And the results were just crazy. The 22 long rifle did about what you would expect, but the TNT round absolutely blew that can apart. There was pieces of it about 15 feet away. So it really was like TNT. It really exploded that pop can. So I'm excited to see what it'll do on a raccoon. I'm sitting about 35 yards away from the feeder. Let's hope some raccoons come out. I was sitting there just kind of zoned out. It's pretty boring, nothing's going on and a raccoon ran up about nine feet from my chair right there. So I swung around to try and shoot it and turn the camera on and it, it scurried off into the bushes. And as I was resetting up my camera, two big raccoons came running in from right over there. And so I was pretty frazzled and I forgot to hold low on it because these bullets are shooting so high and I completely shot over that first one on the left. And the one on the right didn't seem to care too much. So I shot him, ran over here, and uh, I couldn't find the other one. He took off. So here's the raccoon that I hit. It looks like I hit it a little bit high, but it still went down pretty fast. I'm going to go see if I can get another raccoon, though, and hopefully make a better shot on it.
So here's the raccoon. You can see it dropped right in its tracks. It was eating the hog bait I put out. So let's see where I shot it here. So I can't tell where the bullet entered, but it came out of the back, back here. So it looks like it's quite a big hole back here, actually. So that TNT did a really good job. Went right through there, put a big hole in it, and uh, took it out really quickly and humanely. So that's two raccoons with the TNT so far. I'm gonna see if I can get a third one here. I don't know how well you guys can see that on the camera, but right when I shot that raccoon, it just started downpouring on me. It's kind of letting up a little bit now. I just quickly put my camera in the bag. I was sitting over there against that tree. But this raccoon came out over here and the wind has been swirling around from the storm coming in. And so he kind of went in and out of here and he popped out right here about 20 yards from me. And I don't know how well I got it on camera because this grass is so tall, but that TNT put him down instantly. So it looks like I hit her right there, which is a perfect shot. And believe it or not, there's actually no pass through. So that TNT bullet blew up completely in about this five inches right here and did not come out the other end. So it dumped all of its energy into this raccoon and I'm really impressed with this stuff. It, it's doing really well on these raccoons. It just drops them right in their tracks. But thanks for watching guys. I hope God blesses you and you have a great week. Deer season's coming up, so hopefully I'll have some good videos for you. See you next time.